All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today, this was not the video I was trying to do for you guys. I was actually trying to go down south and do some landscape stuff, maybe uh, bust out a landscape for tor uh, tutorial for you guys. The issue that I was having is uh, the 50 knot winds. <laughs> so I got up early, and I headed out, and I went down south to get set up and try to do some sunrise with the Alaska range. But uh, I didn't realize that it was going to be 50 knot winds. I saw that they were forecasting strong winds, but I was not expecting uh, how bad it was. So I headed down there and uh, went out and tried to get set up. And uh, the wind was just bananas, guys, to the point where it actually knocked my video camera over um, on the tripod. So I scratched that idea really quick and uh, drove back up here and decided we would do a, a different video. This video is actually pretty highly requested. Um, and what it is, it's, it's how I display my um, Instagram horizontal images. So if you're anything like me, you don't always want to get pigeonholed into that 4 by 5 ratio that Instagram tries to force down your throat. Um, sometimes I want to take a horizontal, like either it's a nice landscape or it's a, a big bull moose or it, it's something that is just displayed and looks much better horizontal. So um, it took me a while to figure this out, but uh, I'm pretty pretty stoked on, on this. So hopefully you guys learned something. Like I said, it is pretty highly requested. And um, yeah, without further ado, we'll just jump into it and we'll go over how I display my Instagram images horizontally. All right, so we're gonna jump into Photoshop. We got it right here open. Um, so the point of this is not to edit this image. Um, I'm just taking the image straight out of camera. We have this uh, beautiful, beautiful grizzly bear uh, fishing on the Brooks Falls. And I'm gonna show you how I would display this. So like we had talked about earlier, um, the crop factor for Instagram is always a four by five. And that's what you're seeing right here. And there's really no good way, you know, I could do it like this, but then I'm cutting off the bear's butt or I could do it, you know, like this. It's, it's just not as powerful as the entire image is. So what I want to show you guys is how you're going to display this in order to get yourself the best viewing space on Instagram. So as we talked about, 4 by 5 is the ratio. The issue is, is we want it to be swipeable. So whatever we choose, it has to be divisible by 4, right? So 4 is going to be, yeah, 4 is going to be the width and 5 is going to be the length. So we're going to do 8 instead of 4 because I want this to be a 2 swipeable image. So we have 8 by 5 ratio. Now you are going to lose a little bit of your top and bottom, which isn't normally a big deal. Normally there's not too much going on on the top and bottom of the frame. So in this instance, I'm gonna crop it something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, but you guys get the idea. So there's our eight by five ratio. And what that's gonna do is set us up for how we're gonna slice this image. So the next thing you wanna do after you get it cropped, eight by five, uh, you can do a 12 by five if you want a three swipeable, or you could do a 16 by five. Anything divisible by four is gonna be how many times you swipe, and then you have to keep five. So as you go wider and wider and wider, it's going to get narrow and narrow and narrow. Kind of just makes sense mathematically. So what you want to do is go to view and you want to do a new guide layout. This is going to keep you from having to try to find dead center of your image and uh, messing around with that. Plus, this is just so much faster, in my opinion. The big thing you want to do is make sure that you don't have width and gutter. You don't want gutter. That's just extra pixels in between your slices. And it's not going to work well when you go to swipe on Instagram. So number of columns is how many times you're going to swipe. In this instance, it's going to be three. I'm sorry, two. If I wanted to do three, if it was, uh, you know, a 12 by five, we had cropped it that way. That's going to look like that. But in this situation, we wanted two. Width is none. Gutter is none. Boom. So this went ahead and it, it found the center for us and it gave us our perfect swipables. Next thing you're going to do after you get your uh, slices is you're going to come down to the slice tool. And then you're going to slice from guides because you use that guide layout to lay out the two slices. And then now you're going into this X-Acto knife under the crop section and you're going to hit slice from guides like we did. So we have one and we have two. This is ready to be exported. The big thing here is you have to go to export, save for web, legacy, and then you save your image. That's really all you do for your swipeable portion. So you hit save. I already have my folder set up for where I like my Instagram swipeables to go. So I'll hit save. I already have this image, but I'll replace it. And then boom, this should be done. So this portion of uh, your swipeable is complete. And now I like to command or control Z twice to get rid of the guides. And I'm back to my cropped image. Now what I like to do is I like to make it almost uh, better displayable on your Instagram grid. So you can upload it just how we did it. The issue is, is all you're going to see is that one slice. And that's going to give you what the bear's butt and that's not really going to look very good overall on your Instagram's grid. So how I combat that is I come up here and I go to image, canvas size, percent. Image, canvas size, percent. Now I like a little bit of border on the width of my images. So I go to 105, 105 percent of what the image is. And then as long as your uh, length is going to be significantly larger, it's going to allow you to crop it into that 4 by 5 ratio for your grid. So bam, there you have that. Then I come back into my slice tool, go back up to crop. And I change this four by five and then there it is. So there's my image that's going to be displayed on my grid. It's a four by five and I already saved the swipeable image. And uh, the last thing I do is I normally add a little watermark. You don't have to do this. This is totally your thing. 
and whatever watermark you want or however else you want to church up your image, feel free to do that. Finds the center for me. Hit enter, command or control E to flatten your layers. And then bam, I have my Instagram grid image ready to go. So file, I would save as, let's go save. I already have this, so I don't want to replace it, but I would save it. And then I would have my grid display, my two slices. And then the last thing I do on Instagram is I, I do use an app to find my photo, not my photo, but my, uh, my settings, right? A lot of people ask me how I do this. This is the only portion of this tutorial that uses an app. The app is called Photo Summary. And uh, what you do is you export your image and make sure all of your metadata is, is a part of that export. And then when you put it on Photo Summary, it pulls your metadata and then it gives you a nice little background blurred image that you can select which one you want, save it. And then when you go to your Instagram to set it up, the last image you choose is always that one. And what that allows me to do is have my, my display grid my swipeable, and then my camera settings all in one. And I feel like it gives the viewer a better experience. It's just an overall better uh, viewing experience for uh, Instagram. So uh, hopefully you learned something. This wasn't an outdoor tutorial like I tried to, but um, maybe this will help you out. Maybe this will you know, open up doors for you to post some old images you haven't been able to because you couldn't figure out a good way to crop them. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.